Hi, in this video I'll be covering another custom visual. This is called the advanced advanced time slicer. So before we get to the visual, we'll import our Excel file. So I have my sample data set here. And this is the weekly US field production of crude oil. So this data set talks about the production of crude oil in the US. So it takes a second and we'll be able to see the sheets inside the excel file over here and then we can just click on the sheet that we want so here we have only one sheet so we can, we'll be only seeing that particular sheet and there's nothing there's not much detail there's just a date and then there's the thousands of barrels produced in crude oil so we're going to load that and after this is available in our field setting fields option we'll go to the app source and import the advanced time slicer just give this a second the data is getting loaded so yeah we have it right here and now we'll click on the ellipses and we'll go to import from app source and then we will select our we'll search for our advanced time slicer So it is also called the time brush slicer. This visual is also called the time brush slicer. So this is how it looks. And uh, we'll be importing this and we'll be working on this. So basically what this visual does is it allows you to filter data on based on time. So you can directly select the particular time period that you want and the data will get filtered according to that. So I click on OK and you'll see that the visual has been imported over here i'll just hide the filters pane because we don't need that and i'll just drag my date into the report page and my years so this is a bar graph right now i'll make it into table so now you see that the date has been broken up into different hierarchies so for example we have the year we have the quarter we have the month and the day so you could turn this off, you could go to the options over here in file and you could turn that off or you could just come here in your field well, click on the down arrow and instead of date hierarchy just select date and this gets changed and one more thing I'll do is I'll increase the size so that it is visible to all of you clearly And now we'll be converting this visual into a time brush slicer and as soon as I click on it the visual gets changed and now how you use this visual is let's go into the focus mode so that I can explain it to you better so all I have to do is I have to select a particular time period so once I select this time period I'll be able to analyze data of this particular time period only you can also drag the time period however you want you want it to and this is by thousands of barrels so you can get it by so if you go back to the report this is how the visual looks this is how you can play around with it you can have a very small region as well so for example i can have a very tiny region selected i can increase that i can decrease it and similarly let's say if i have a matrix here outside and i have my date and my barrels and I'll change this again to a date hierarchy so I'll just decrease the size of this one second yeah increase the size of this okay so now when I select this particular time period like it like you see it's an interactive visual as well so it, it filters the other visuals on the screen so I could reduce the time period that I have selected and similarly the, the data that is the weekly production of crude oil in thousands of barrels in the US this data this matrix table matrix sorry not table this matrix gets filtered accordingly so thank you I hope you learned something new